Hi friends and welcome back to my channel today. I am so excited to share with you all our first grade Abeka homeschool curriculum. It is finally here and I can't wait to dig in and show you all the things that came included in this year's curriculum. So make sure to stick around and watch. This is going to be our third year using the Abeka homeschool curriculum and we absolutely love this curriculum. It is honestly our favorite and I, I can't say anything bad about it. We love it. <laughs> That's the truth. We absolutely love it. Our kids love it. My husband loves it. My in-laws love it. I love it. We all love it. So, and we recommend it because it is such a thorough curriculum and we're very happy with that. So first, I want to share with you one of our favorite things that comes included in the curriculum and that is the video lessons. We absolutely love the video lessons because they make our lives so much easier as working homeschooling parents. This year, we decided to order the manuscript for our daughter. Along with the videos, we also get our homeschool video manual. So in here, you see everything that comes included in the curriculum as well, but all the resources for the parents to successfully implement um, homeschooling with this curriculum as well as resources that you are going to need are all included in here. I am planning on doing a little bit more of a detailed walkthrough in the Abeka video manual just to share with you what are those awesome resources that are in there because this is, as a parent, one of my favorite things. Next, we have our Bibles and Friends activity book. This goes along with their Bible lessons. And you know, you can really decide how you wanna do this. You can do this with them along with the lessons or you can choose to take this to church and have your kids work on it. <laughs> and that is what I'm going to be doing just because, you know, my daughter likes to always doodle in church or during um, the messages and whatnot. So I think I'm just going to do that. Then we have our formation flashcards. We have these also from last year. So what I'm going to do this year is I'm gonna send one to my in-law's house so that they have one over there in case they need to reference it when she's working on her writing or her um, penmanship. We have one here and I also have the cursive formation cards around in our dining room, which is always super helpful for us. Next, we have our Art Projects One book. And this comes with every grade that we've ordered so far. And when you look at it, you can kind of see your supply list at the very beginning. What are the things that you're going to need? So they make it really easy for you to see what are the items that you're going to be using that particular year. And then over here, it just lets you know what are the projects by month. Now, homeschooling is very flexible, so you might be working or might be starting at a different day or might be homeschooling year round. So just reference this to see when certain projects fall under what time, just to, if you wanna be more seasonal about it, just to make reference to it. But you're also going to see the scope and sequence over here and the techniques that they're gonna use with that particular um, project, which is really nice to reference and to help with planning. And then over here, they just have the plan ahead supply list. I think this is just amazing how they did this. So they have it by month and then the supplies you're going to need by project. So it just makes it super easy for planning purposes. And then these are what the projects look like starts with the color wheel. I've noticed also on my sons, they do start with the color wheel, but the older they get, the more advanced and the more um, advanced techniques they come with. Ooh, bookmarks. I love this. Last year they had pencil toppers and my daughter absolutely loved that. So I think we're gonna do this even before we even make it to September 3rd. Yeah. 
Now moving on to science and social studies. The science book this year for first grade is Discovering God's World. And this is the science reader. Last year for K-5, she also had a science reader and they are very interactive. So she gets to draw in them or write in them or color in them. So for first grade, this is what it looks like. For social studies or history, we have My America and My World. And again, the table of contents. And it starts with the geography of the US, which I absolutely love. And this is what it looks like on the inside. They're gonna learn about different countries, not just the US. So they have a section for This Is My World. It starts with the US, this is my country, and then it moves on to different aspects of, of, of other countries in the world. Then I love this because it definitely helps us meet our standards when it comes to our state. So we have health, safety, and manners. And then community helpers activity books. Just all the different community workers that we have, which is super important for our kids and everyone to be aware of, all right? So that is science and social studies. Moving on now up here to math. We have our arithmetic workbook, and this is also a consumable. The kids work on it along with their math lessons, again, Super colorful, and we love it, and the kids get to color in it too. So it just makes it very interesting, and very exciting to look at, it's not boring. <laughs> and you can see here, what is it that they're gonna be covering. In first grade, they begin their tests and speed drills. This is not something that they do in K-5. This is new in first grade, and they continue doing this um, my son is in fifth grade, going on to sixth grade, and they also have the test and speed drills. So when you look in here, the test and the speed drills are super colorful as well, which makes it just super exciting. It kind of has a grading scale for parents, how to administer it, but um, it has the speed drills. And then over here, you put the scores, what they got on the first drill, the second drill so this is for they don't start till lessons 14 to 15 on this one and then the kids get to color it which makes it super fun and then you see them over here so this is day one day two day three day four and then this is what the test would look like but it just really prepares them for the older grades so we didn't start homeschooling our son till he was in fourth grade and that was pretty new to him but since we've been homeschooling our daughter since K-4 and I look at their curriculum, they are really preparing them for everything that is to come. They start, the way that this curriculum is set up is a spiral learning approach. So they start by introducing concepts early on that are super simple for the kids to understand. And as they move on, they continue to build the complexity so that it becomes more challenging and they just really master the skills that they need to be successful. So here are the test drills. This is the student consumable, and this is the parent answer key. This is the student consumable for the math workbook. This is the parent's answer key. I love that everything has an answer key because it really just makes you as a parent super relaxed and not have to worry about all the crazy things that you might be confused about or you might not understand. Now the final component of the curriculum is English language arts. Reading, writing, spelling, all of those great things that are super fundamental in the earlier grades. It is really heavy in this area and I absolutely love it. I see it also in my son's um, older grades and I was an ELA teacher so this makes me super happy to see 
Before homeschooling, I was super nervous on how is it that I was gonna make sure that our kids were going to get everything that they needed to be successful in the area of reading. And I have to say, this curriculum hits the mark. It is just so comprehensive and so amazing. So let me show you everything that comes in here, okay? So if we start with language, so this is the seat work, this is the teacher key, and this is the student one. So it has phonics, it has reading, it has language, it has writing, all the great things in it. I love how it shows you manuscript and then it shows you cursive over here. So you can see as the year goes on, it becomes more complex and more writing compared to the very beginning. And then at the end of these, they always have these little reward things that you know they could do. So these are great for laminating and just having them ready to reward your child it, when they do something amazing and it's just encouraging to them. Mm -hmm. Then we have the spelling and poetry. This is the first year that they actually get a spelling list. So the very first lesson you see here, this is the list of spelling words. So it has the CBC words, the ones with the short vowels, and then it has two sight words in it. And this is their practice that they have over here for each day. To the second one, they move into the long vowels combinations, which they learn how to read these in K-5. So they will be able to do this. Um, and so it starts very simple. And as you see, I'll show you what the last one looks like. Let me go to 30, there we go. And this is their last spelling list. And they started with 10 words and then here they're finishing off with 15 words. Again, it has the manuscript and the cursive in there for them. So in the poetry section, you can see the poems that they're gonna be working on. It's, go it's gonna be like one a month and it just shows you the poem that they're working on. It starts with the elephant, super simple. And then it ends in April and May with a more elaborate poem. Then in the back of this workbook, you're gonna see that they also have their homework, which is lovely. It gives them the opportunity to actually practice spelling them out, which is awesome. So you don't have to make your own homework unless you want to. It's all included back here, which is beautiful. So along with this, we have our letters and sounds, okay? So the kids take their spelling tests in this particular test booklet. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. So very colorful, very bright, I love it. And then this is the test key for the parent to look at. Okay. And then this is the workbook that the kiddos work in. Again, super colorful. So a lot of opportunities for the kiddos to practice their sounds, their letters, their spelling, and then the answer key for their parents. For writing this year, we also decided to do manuscript. She will be doing cursive next year. So we're doing manuscript this year again, just so that she has that strong foundation that we started with her in K-5. So it has all these writing exercises in there that she will work on. And then on the back, it has um, their creative writing. So write a story about summer, write a story about a ladybug. So she really get, will get to practice her creative writing. And then over here, it has other things for her to work on. Oops, it all the way to the back. These are Bible verses and such, which is awesome. Along with this, you get three writing tablets. So these are just plain pieces of writing paper for the kids to work on writing and they're double-sided. So it has this side and it has this side. So you get three whole books of these for the writing. 
And then finally, the reading section. Oh, I love this. I have to say, I absolutely love this. My daughter saw these when I was opening them up and inventorying them, and she was just so excited about these readers. She can't wait to make it to it. So first, let me talk about this. This is the parent answer key. I love this because I actually use this with my son when I do his reading with him in the sixth grade. Okay, so this also comes for every grade. And when you look at it here, you see that it has like the book that they're reading in, okay? It has the different things, the different questions that you can ask the kiddos in each particular page. So it's really a good guide to help you with reading, with the kiddos and the comprehension. So this is very, it's a very resourceful thing, especially if you are looking forward to maybe taking over some of the reading with your kiddos, this is just a nice thing to have to help you with asking questions and guiding them in their reading. Super helpful. We have the handbook for reading. This did not come in the K-5, so it comes in for first and third. And I've heard so many good reviews about this handbook for reading. Just really works on helping them read and become strong readers. In K-5, the one that came was a little bit thinner and it focused more on blends. Then the primary Bible reader, I thought this was super awesome. So it has pretty much Bible stories in there in a way that the kiddos can understand and they can read and I just love this because you know one of the main reasons that we chose this curriculum is because it's a faith-based curriculum. So to us, our faith is super important this made me really happy. Then the first reader is Fun with Pets. You can see over here, it's an interactive reader. They can read, but they can color and write in it as well. The second reader is Tiptoes. You guys can see over here, kind of like the content that they are going to be covering. Stepping Stones is the third reader. See, it gets more and more challenging as it goes, but super colorful, super exciting to look at. Secrets and Surprises is a fourth reader. Now it's getting, the readers are becoming a little thicker, a little more complex. The fifth one is Kind and Brave. The sixth one is Aesop's Fables, which is always fun to read. And it has, it has words to practice. And at the end of each story, they have questions to ask. See, like this, a, a Bible verse, and then stuff to think about. The next one is Strong and True. by the sea. And the last reader is Animals in the Great Outdoors. So as you can see, lots of opportunity to exercise writing and to have really a strong foundation in reading, language, writing, arithmetic, science, social studies, art, and of course, our favorite is Bible. The lessons each start with Bible, so to us, this is super important. So for this entire first grade curriculum, I ended up paying $1,161, and this is after taxes and with a 15% off coupon that they sent in February. Right now they have a deal where um, you use, I think it's the code saving big and you save $150 on a Becca accredited, $100 on the independent study. And I forget what's the other um, price that you get on other, like on parent led. Some people are like, wow, that's a lot of money. It is, but when you step back and you think about 
everything that you are getting. When I look at the fact that I'm getting video instruction, I'm getting every single thing that my child is going to need with the classes that are going to help her do well in that particular grade, actually do better than well in that particular grade, I get all the parent answer keys, all the resources that I am going to need as a parent to implement this curriculum. I feel that is definitely worth every single little penny. I honestly don't have to buy anything besides maybe notebook and a binder and you know regular school supplies like pencils and coloring utensils and stuff like that to use with this curriculum. I don't have to worry about, oh, I couldn't meet my standard for math in Pennsylvania, so I'm gonna have to buy another math book. No, everything is all included in there. So to me, I feel like that is all worth it. The fact that as a parent, I ordered everything all at once in one box and everything that I need is all there already included. And as a working parent, to us, that is huge and is one of the biggest reasons why we went with this particular curriculum. Number one, we chose this curriculum because it's a faith-based curriculum. And that is what we wanted to homeschool our children with. That is like the most important reason. And second of all, we chose this curriculum just because it made it so simpler for us to be able to implement as working homeschooling parents. We get it, we open it, and it's there. The guide is there, the video lessons are there, all the components to it is there, and our kids just get such a solid foundation. And it really has made it very easy for us to like do phonics with her, reading, math, all of it is just so thorough that we believe it's worth every penny. So that's our opinion. <laughs> Be on the lookout in the future. After the school year is over, I start organizing my curriculum for the upcoming year. So I will be doing videos on how I organize this particular first grade curriculum. And I also have a current video, if any of you guys wanna get started, on how I typically would sit down, the process I go through organizing the Abeka curriculum using the binder method. And you guys can go ahead and check that out right here. Um, I did that with my son's fifth grade curriculum last year, but you can really take and follow those steps and organize any of the K to six grades for Abeka. I haven't seen their seventh grade curriculum yet, so I'm not gonna say, oh, seventh grade too, I have to see how that one is put together. But you can definitely use that as a resource. So if you have any questions about homeschooling or homeschooling with Abeka, or there are any videos that you would find beneficial for me to make for you, go ahead and let me know in the comments below or send me a message directly and I will get to working on those and answering your questions. Thank you so much for watching and please remember that if you have not done so yet to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.